Israeli iron dome defense system intercepted over a hundred Hezbollah projectiles that were fired from Lebanon on Monday, while trails of smoke could be seen in the sky above the Israeli-Lebanese border as rockets flew overhead. An Israeli army spokesperson announced that approximately 115 projectiles fired by Hezbollah crossed from Lebanon into Israel. Also, Israel continued to strike southern Lebanon after nearly a year of exchanging fire across the border. Israel intensified its strike on southern Lebanon and beyond over the last month. All right, for more on this, we are joined in by Amit Mukherjee. Amit, good morning. Now, uh, the Israeli parliament has uh, banned the uh, the representatives of UNRWA from the country. Help us understand uh, the consequences of this move and also to what extent will it hamper uh, the accessibility of humanitarian aid in the region? Well, Preeti, basically this move by Israel uh, revokes the 1967 agreement which allowed uh, this particular agency, UNRWA, to operate in the areas which were under the control of uh, Israel. Uh, that includes, of course, Jerusalem, uh, East Jerusalem and West Bank. But now because of this, uh, uh, the uh, Israeli government is now restricting the work of this UNRWA in, in its own territory. Uh, primarily, there is two reasons. One is, of course, uh, uh, Israel has been citing that uh, uh, people who were involved, who are associated with this organization are also affiliates of Hamas. In fact, investigations actually revealed that, that there were about nine people, nine persons who were uh, part of the uh, Hamas organization and were also working for this UNRWA. Now, the other thing is that this agency has been, uh, this is what the allegation of Israel has been, that this agency has been kind of promoting hate uh, against, um, you know, Israel, you know, that this is what they have been teaching Palestinians. And uh, also another thing is that, uh, you know, uh, this agency was formed about a year after Israel state was actually formed in 1948. So at that time, UN had uh, formed this uh, particular body to assist all those uh, Palestinians who were displaced during the formation of the Israel state in 1948. This, this uh, organization started its operation in 1950s. Now, another thing which Israel is quite opposed to is that this particular organization uh, recognizes, uh, you know, the descendants of the 1948 uh, 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 Palestinians who were who were actually refugees, the descendants of these refugees as refugees. So um, uh, Israel is against the, uh, you know, uh, the whole concept of recognizing the, the descendants of the 1948 refugees as refugees again. So this was another reason. And in fact, even before this attack on Israel had happened on October 7th uh, last year, uh, Israel has always been pushing for dismantling this organization, saying that, you know, the, some of the activities of this organization were against the state of Israel. In fact, this, uh, the two bills were passed with overwhelming majority. In fact, one was passed with 92 versus uh, 10, and the other was passed with about 87 uh, uh, in favor of this bill against nine, uh, against nine who were opposed to this. Uh, Preeti? All right, Amit. Also, at the same time, the U.S. has uh, come down heavily on Iran uh, at the UN United Nations Security Council, uh, the warning of severe consequences if it undertakes any further aggressive acts against Israel. Uh, also, help us understand uh, how grave and severe is this warning, though repeatedly the international world uh, has called for restraint. Help us understand when it comes from the UNSC, how important and significant is this? Well, the U.S. has always been saying this. In fact, even before the strike has started, you know, uh, Israel had, uh, uh, the U.S. had actually asked Iran to exercise a restraint because this action, if it had, if would, it would have happened, you know, uh, by Israel uh, attacking Iran, it would have been a retaliatory action against what had happened on October 1st, where 200 missiles were actually launched into Israel. So repeatedly, you know, uh, even when there were talks and, and, and and information was leaked about a, 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 a prospective uh, strike by Israel uh, on Iran. Uh, U.S. had said that uh, uh, you know uh, there should be restraint uh, exercised by Iran, and also it kind of also war warned uh, Israel not to attack the oil installation and other nuclear installations of Iran, uh, which could lead to escalation. So it should have uh, should limit uh, its responses only to re reactionary measure against the October 1st, uh, uh, you know, action um, by Iran. So, uh, U.S. has been, you know, warning both Israel as well as Iran 
to be uh, to exercise restraint in their in the in their offensive uh, against each other uh, Pridhi? All right, Amit, we'll leave it here. Thank you so much for joining in with those details. That was our correspondent, Amit Mukherjee, uh, speaking more about the Israeli